to Uncut everyone. As you can see, we are at a drive-in tonight. We'll take you in in a short minute, but we had a bit of a drama this week we want to share with you. We filmed it, was it yesterday or Saturday? I think it was Saturday. Saturday. We wanted to capture it for you guys. Look, it's just always something with this van, but take a look. Bugger. It hasn't leaked this much before, but we've never been in such a heavy rainstorm before. So I'm, I'm thinking it's splashing up. And but you're gonna have to take that cover, maybe take that whole cover off, and have a good old look, and have there. a real good look in there tomorrow. Yeah. No point in doing it now. Luckily, we have a house to sleep in tonight, so <laughs> it doesn't. Thank goodness for houses. Yes. But if we were in here, we would have noticed it leaking and we would just would have gone Well, home. yes, this is true. Um, oh, it's like wet from all the way around there. Not good. It's getting in, it's getting in somehow, but it was absolutely torrential rain, like stair rods type. Yeah. Rain. But we had a water leak and we still do have a water leak. It's been raining for a couple of hours now. It's not a massive water leak, but that's about, it's about an egg cup full of water that we've had to come down from here. Now, well, it doesn't sound much, but it is annoying. Um, also, we installed this skylight eight months ago and it hasn't leaked once. And then we had a massive storm last night and then we come back to sleep in the van and obviously all our bedding was wet. It didn't soak the mattress, it just soaked the, the dunas and the bed sheets. Luckily, because we were at house it, we did have another bedroom that we had use of, um, so we went and used that. We actually prefer sleeping in our vans with the house sits because it's our it's our house, and you know, you love your own bed. So we're going to take this apart and see if we can actually find where the water leak is coming in. Um, it stopped raining now, so it's going to be a little bit harder, but we can always use a hose pipe to uh, make sure that we're getting water in places that we need to. So let's crack on. Let's get to it. So I've taken all the trim down now and I think I've located the leak. It's, uh, the water was dripping out of this end but it was running all the way down the inside here and then dripping out there. When I went up on the roof here through the skylight, which is really handy to have actually, um, I noticed that one side there was a small crack. It was barely noticeable but when you just flex the frame it lifted off and I think that is where the water's going in it's, and, it, and it's just seeping under and coming out here. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to seal it all up and that should hopefully fix our problem. So do you think you have fixed it? Yes, I think I have. I hope I have. <laughs> it's too much of a mission. Uh, yeah, I've uh, gone over it and over it and over it and made sure. And then when I when I screwed it all back down and squeezed it, it actually squeezed some water out in some places I didn't think it would come out. And that's where I've also sealed as well. So obviously if it squeezed out, that must be where it went in as well. So fingers crossed. <laughs> so you can tell from our little bit of drama, we had a leak in the roof and it actually turned out to be, I, I did actually film what it was, but the, the problem was uh, I did it in, I'm cinematically challenged. <laughs> And uh, I tried to film it in time lapse, so it didn't come out. And it you was did actually, it in a star trail. It was actually yes. It was actually the lip hello, of Pablo. the. Can you say hello? Sorry. Yeah. So the the lip of the skylight wasn't sealed properly to the roof, and yeah, I just had to resilicate it, and it should be as good as gold now. But we haven't had a big storm since, so let's hope we do. And it looks like they're opening up. Oh, we have someone at the booth. Her name. We need could a driver. <laughs> Her name could be Ruth. <laughs> we need a driver. Driver in. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. Pablo. Come here, mate. Pablo. Come jump. Jump out. Jump. Oh, good boy. Oh, I think we actually have to be in the back row because we're actually. Yeah, we, don't, we don't want to be that person with the giant afro. <laughs> yeah. This is a mobile afro. <laughs> <laughs>
COVID and it was you weren't allowed out your van, you had to be one car space apart. Oh, that's right, it yeah. It was hilarious. We might have a bit of drum already. We forgot about the step and it's a little bit low, so make sure this doesn't hit. Just heard a bang. It's it clears. Yeah. I foresee problems with this step. <laughs> you see how close that was? It's something you just don't think about. Oh. Anyway, let's get these doors open. Set our cinema experience up. <laughs> Last time we came here too, we were in our trusty old Toyota Hiace and uh, yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. I think she was a little bit loud <laughs> when we arrived, wasn't she? Yes. Um, and it was packed. Because this is the only cinema people go, could go to, I think. This was the first cinema open after COVID. Yeah, it was. And of course, it was, we were here. It was an outdoor venue and you could space the cars apart. And when you wanted to use the toilets, they made you... <laughs> Um, clean your hands go in and then you had to clean your hands on the way out and it was only so many people allowed in the toilet at the time. it was quite funny <laughs> yeah looking back yeah. on it my dog's barking we forgot about him he's in the, <laughs> he's in the front <laughs> he's in the front he can't jump down poor little my fella <laughs> do you want to come in the back <laughs> all right it's time to bring this bed down and uh do my checks make sure nothing's broken there this should be awesome. So the things you've got to do, just, you know, van life hacks here. Stop the doors blowing shut. I've had to use the dog lead to go round and tie the doors open so they stay open. This is the view we have from here. Movie screen. We man, I think it'll be pretty cool. We're just gonna get our big cushions out and set them up that way. Oh, you can't see me at all. Let me get some better light. So I don't know if you guys have been to a drive-in before, but it's really eerie to watch thriller movies in here. Now I've been to watch, I think I watched a Blair Witch Project and I think I saw a Saw in a drive-in before as well. But tonight we're not, we're seeing the Marvel movie, which I'm not, look, I'm not really a superhero type movie person, but here we are. <laughs> it's what we're showing tonight and I just wanted to come out to the movies because I just love the drive-ins. So this particular cinema in Yatla is a 1950s style. It's got the old speakers, you know, the ones that you put on the cars. So it's got those. It also has a little 50s diner here with, I think, Marilyn Monroe and someone, like a statue of them are in, are in there and it's, it's quite cool. I, I think Tim's taking some footage of that. But they usually show three movies, or there is three fields. We're in the main field one tonight, and I think we're the only ones here. And I, oh, actually, I think someone else is just turning up now. So <laughs> they're showing the movie for just two carloads full of people, which I am happy to do because it's actually cheaper than going to the big movie cinema here. Win win for everybody, I think. <laughs> and you can bring your dog! And you can have wine, and because we have a, have a camper van, we've got our full bathroom here, full kitchen. We have everything we could possibly need. I think we're gonna have a little bit of a cheese platter soon when the movie starts. looking at me. <laughs> You're on screen. <laughs> this is not cut guys. It doesn't look like. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is really, because it's at a really funny angle and it's like, it's like right, facing it's like, that way. I feel I should be here, no, yeah. but I'm over here. Are you over there? Yeah, over here. Over, over here. here. No. Anyway, yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've done some B-roll of the diner. Um, apologies if it's a bit flickery, but this is uncut and we haven't got time to actually set our cameras yeah, to the stop the flickering. Yeah, the sun went down real quick. <laughs> some older, older fashioned lights in there, uh, probably from the 50s as well. <laughs> <laughs> So it's packed here tonight. There's four people here so far and uh, the, the show starts in about 10 minutes. So that could be quite exciting for us to be here all on our own. And <laughs> um, we've tied the doors back so they don't flap open. 
And then, um, yes. Oh, and the other thing is, it's my birthday tomorrow. If anyone's oh, yeah, interested. Oh yeah, happy birthday! <laughs> my husband's birthday tomorrow. Um, this isn't what we're doing. We actually did uh, Vertigo for. Yes. Oh, it was amazing. It was a. Uh, it's Australia's first vertical restaurant. You actually 17 meters up on the side of a building, and you just sit in these metal chairs. And you're harnessed in and they serve you dinner yeah. and you are dangling over this 17 meter precipice it's quite good it's quite and cool. people are waving to you from down there and shouting up and we did do a video on it yeah we've done a video on it and um you'll see that in the future but there's a few sneak peeks for you and there you have it and there you have it <laughs> uh, you know what i just realized yeah we've got a house for this and guess what we've got in the cupboard cord curdles we can make our own popcorn. Oh. <laughs> do we make the popcorn? I'm not sure we've got time to make popcorn. But we do have nibbles, chips and dips. So we'll probably do that. I'll serve something up in a minute. Yeah, cool. And we can sit and watch this movie, which How is about exciting. to start. Oh, and um, there's no sticker wall this week because they still haven't come through. And I'm just like... Oh. I checked the post box today and there was no stickers. Every time... I ask if the stickers have arrived and she says no, my heart breaks a little bit knowing oh, that on, your guys, stickers haven't got through. to us yet. I, I think it's just the, the delay on the postage, I think. Or yeah, it is. We're, we're so far away. You I'll know. put um, the address or our PO box down below in case yes. you know you want to send us something. But we'll do a shout out to a few of our followers. So uh, how about Crystal, Le uh, Crystal and Lagringa? She's a lovely lady, great supporter. She has her own little channel. You can pop over there and see her. Um, she drives around in her van Lagringa. <laughs> and who else have we got? Um, Posh Cats Camping. I know they're a bit bigger than us, but we, we do like them and they like us. So, hi Trev and hi Sue. Hello. Um, we know your sticker's on its way. <laughs> Pablo And we'll be sending well. you a sticker soon. <laughs> hello. What have you seen, Pablo? What is it? Customers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there someone arriving? Who's that? To give it some context, it is a Monday evening and not anyone comes to the cinema on a Monday evening, especially a drive-in movie. Yeah. Um, we've been here on a Saturday evening and all the pickup trucks, in they shoppers. turn up and people have got couches. Pickup trucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, but well, utes, sorry. Uh, they turn up and oh, utes. people yeah. people sit in the back on couches and everything, it's amazing. And it really gets a, a nice atmosphere, but like, uh, we, yeah, we can make it the weekend because we were dining on top of a building. Yeah, and I really wanted to come to the cinema to see, well, I don't really want to see Miles, <laughs> but I know you do and it's your birthday week, so. Yes. This yes. is for you. It will soon be starting. Oh, and the moths have been attracted already. Great. Pablo had the time of his life. <laughs> Dips, I think. Dips and chips. Oh, wait, wait till it starts first. Yes. Wait till it starts. And another thing you might be wondering is, like, um, I don't know if Sandy mentioned that uh, you tune in, whichever field you're in, you tune into a different radio station to pick up the um, audio for that film. Um, most people have to have their ignition on to run their stereo so that that can happen and there's always that issue that you might actually run your battery flat especially if you go for a double feature um they do a free jump start service oh, here do they? yes there's a board up <laughs> it says if you need a jump start call john i think oh, it is that must happen. Um, i wonder how, long, how often that happens uh, i think it happens a lot you imagine the amount of people that just sit here with a stereo on oh especially with two movies if two movies yeah you could be here four or five hours with the ignition on and then that, that's a big problem yeah anyway i'm gonna get to making this nibbles board up ready so that we can all enjoy this together and watch this movie mm. and pablo intently watching you make he thinks so does everyone everyone knows right when you open a packet of cheese you have to pay dogs the cheese tax you can't open cheese without giving them a little bit really he's gonna go pay the cheese this. tax pay the cheese <laughs> tax the cheese tax you got to pay the cheese tax every time you're cooking when the cheese comes That's home. actually a thing on TikTok, I think. Is it? Yeah. The dogs without cheese? Well, a tiny bit's not going to hurt him. Oh, did you get strawberries and chocolate? Yes. Ooh. It's my birthday. I'm allowed <laughs> strawberries and chocolate. Cheese tax. Cheese tax. It's the cheese tax. cheese tax. you got to pay the cheese tax every time you're cooking yes, when Pablo. the cheese comes home. <laughs> Do you like that? Good so, yeah, we have, we've got blue cheese. We've got English cheddar. We've got olives. Uh, we have a cashew and honey cheese. Um, we also have a Mexican dip with cracked pepper crackers to go with that. Wow. And then we're just having a few strawberries for dessert to finish it off. This is what my, I sent my husband to the shop because I was a bit late from work. He finished work early and uh, this is what he kept. You've done a better job than I would have done. Well. Well done. We've got a multitask. <laughs> 
Thanks, babe. Van life is all about being able to live with the other person. <laughs> If a, few, if a few strawberries helps soften the blow. <laughs> what? Blow? What was I? I wasn't gonna. What do you mean? Look, it just. Yeah, it, I think it's just. You buttering me up. You've with got. To, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to be comfortable with the person that you live in a van. You either live alone, solo, or you have a really great relationship. And unfortunately, we don't. Um, no. <laughs> No, fortunately, we do have a really good relationship. We do both love tiny living and we do love being in a van. And Pablo seems to love it as well. Um, he hasn't said anything it's else, so we're not going to change person it. person is what you're trying to say in so a long story short. Sure. It's all about people pleasing and just <laughs> making time for the other person as well, even if it's the small things like a bit of strawberries and chocolate and some cheese. Aww. He's mine, ladies. Anyway, we're going to go and eat Whoa. this whilst we start watching the film. We decided to put the bed up because uh, this looks more, way more comfy than. Uh... Yeah, we had this romantic notion that laying on the bed would be nice and everything, but it's actually more practical. It's to actually sit more this. Instagrammy, but this is more practical, really, to be honest with you. So bear with us. This is real van life. <laughs> this is the uncut way to watch a cinema. Oh wow, look at that. This is a nice bit. This is the Instagram bit. Look at this. Focus on this. Do not focus on all the rubbish up there where I actually prepared it. <laughs> Don't focus on all the clothes that got thrown up that end because we hadn't put, put all our clothes away from earlier when we did our laundry, so... Let's eat this and watch the movie now. <laughs> Well, that was a really good movie, actually, and uh, we enjoyed our little board of cheese and strawberries <laughs> and that. That went down and well. The and the uh, And Pablo helped us with some strawberries. He really enjoyed himself. <laughs> That's all for us this week. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please send me a message about stickers. Please send me stickers. I love your stickers, <laughs> and, and it, it breaks my heart when they don't turn up in the post. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be heading back to where we're staying because we're going to get up early for work tomorrow so we will see you next week or we will see you this Friday and I think we're still building this uh, van this Friday um, we're installing yeah, we're, off, yeah, yeah. we're installing a step and I'm not sure what else is going on but you'll some other things <laughs> <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed our little uncut video and we brought you the true meaning of home cinema by actually taking our home to the cinema <laughs> I'll see you Friday. See you next week. Bye. Bye.